Welcome on people, it's your boy Trubs and you're locked in with another Wire Tap episode and today we're going to talk no loose chat. Do you know why? I don't want to end no loose chat. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Because I don't want to air no loose chat. The process um, went down about two weeks ago. A very, very dope event. Very, very dope event. Um, one of the best events I've been to in a very long time, if, if I'm honest. Um, the vibe, the atmosphere, it, it just felt good being in another battle, battle event because um, of all this pandemic, everything's been on hold so it just felt good to be um, in that environment again and just watching some dope battles, man. And yeah, man, shout out to No Loose Chat to um, even launch their platform um, with a tournament for the newcomers. Not a lot of leagues do that. A lot of leagues want to launch... Um, with um with a big card which they they initially was going to um but due to covid and everything and a lot of things got pushed back they thought you know what they wasn't scared to start it off with a with a new with a, a card for the basically newcomers and it was a private event but even though it was a private event was a vet was a lot of people in there um, don't worry, social distance were being practiced, you know, you can cop the no-loose chat um, marks and everything and you can feel safe as fuck in that event, you get me? You just have a no-loose chat mask and you're good, bro, you're good, you see? Marketing there for the mandem, you get me? Um, so, boom, um, first battle of the day um, was Nobi versus Gills. Nobi versus Gills. This was a very, very good battle to start the day off. Um... I personally, as you will see once the battle comes out, I personally had Nobi winning. I had a chance to watch the battle back because the battle's not out yet. Um, but um, at the time, I just felt like um, we need to be strict. We, As judges, personally, I feel like we need to be strict with the newcomers on preparation because... Um, he just felt like Gills was kind of squeezing the material. He didn't really, he didn't really choke like that, but he was like just squeezing the material out of his head, kind of thing, pacing around. Um, his material was really, really dope. Um, it was direct. He had freestyles in there as well, um, uh, and I just felt like Nobi was a bit more consistent and fluent. Um, I feel like Nobi needs to work on his delivery. Um, he has to understand that, and that's the same same thing, I, same problem I had, and I still have, um, whenever I'm in the ring myself. Like because English isn't our first language, we have to understand that we need to put a lot more focus on our delivery because they just might not understand us as clear as they will understand the other guy, because the other guy um, speaks English. Um, fluently he's been speaking it all his life so we we basically got to play catch up when it comes to delivery so and I understand that but again I've got to judge it I've got to judge it I felt like Nobi uh, needs to work on his delivery and he also needs to be more direct at his opponent um, if you and that's the thing like I feel I always feel and I always say this I personally feel like what separates the rookies and the top tiers um is basically the style of writing. Once you finish writing, ask yourself, if this battle was to be cancelled, can I reuse most of these bars? If the answer is yes, then maybe you're not being direct enough. Like, if you can reuse some of, some of the bars, that's cool. But if you can reuse most of that material, chances are you're not being direct enough in it. Um, it's just simply put... Um, you have to be direct to your opponent. I, I feel like top tier level is when you can create a punchline that can only apply to that opponent. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, man, um, Gills was, was, I felt like Gills was a bit more direct than him. Um, but again, to me, it was simply down to preparation as well, didn't it? And I felt like also Nobi performed better. Um, he had, he had some dope punches on there. Um, yeah, so to Nobi, I'll just say, um, I still have Nobi winning. Don't get it twisted. That's just how I felt on the day. 
I felt like Nobi won. Um, on when the battle comes out, I'll watch it back. Let's see if I change my mind. If I change my mind, I'll do another video, and I'll happily say so. Um, but on the day, I felt like Nobi won, and that's the thing about judges as well. Like we don't get to rewind the bar. We don't get to. Um, uh, like even like taking notes you gotta be careful taking notes because you might miss the next bar so um it's really it's hard to, you got you, you might be indecisive but you gotta pick a winner in it you gotta pick a winner there and then um someone's gotta go through someone's gotta go home the person that goes home might not be um it might not be that that he's not necessarily good enough to go to the next round it's just that other man won in it um, so Gills won. I feel like Gills needs to um, um, work on his prepping. Um, my thing, my thing as well, and I'll say this from now, even going on to the next round, so you lot hear from me. I I'm gonna be a very strict when it comes to preparations in it because I don't like to hear um, when someone says, "Oh, I didn't have a sec a second and third round and I still won," like things like that. Not to say it was the case here. It wasn't, but I'm just saying I don't like when people say them kind of shit because to me, you're celebrating not preparing enough. And as a fan, to me, what you're basically telling me is I could have entertained you more, but I chose not to and I still won. Well, I just want to be entertained, though, for fuck's sake. I just want to be entertained. So if you're telling me that you could have entertained me even more, and obviously I didn't spend money, but go uh, what reason why i'm being so um so so hard on prep on prepping with the newcomers is because going forward you're going to have be in events where people are paying money to get in so people if people are spending money to come and watch you make that make that worthwhile in it like give you 100% in it like i was watching michael jordan's um last dance thing and he always said that no matter i no matter who's what game I'm on, there's someone in the crowd that's that came in here to watch me and is watching me for the first time. It might not be able to come back here because he might not afford a ticket. So I'm gonna put on a show regardless in every single game in it. So again, if you commit to a battle, you gotta prep, you gotta prep, you gotta prep. And to me, the way to prepare the, the newcomers into this, into this kind of mode and format and mindset is to be strict when it comes to um, preparation. Not to say that Gil's, Gil's... I don't even think Gil's choked at all. Don't get it twisted. He, he didn't even choke. But for a lot of his material, he was pacing around and squeezing the bars out of his brain and all of that. And um, I just felt that he could have been, could have been done better. And I think even um, um, that affected his performance because he's squeezing the bars out of his head. He's not really focusing on performing his material. He's literally just saying them. For me, that's why I had Nobi winning. Um, Nobi choked on his third round, I believe, and he lost that round. So I actually had Nobi 2-1. Two, two, um, but Gills won. Gills, Gills went, went forward, and I think Gills is still good enough to be in the tournament anyway. So uh, minor adjustments. I want to see Nobi back as well, um, battling either AJ um, or something like that. Um, or, yeah, I think it would be dope. Um, AJ or Chubzino, um, whatever. Um, anyway, uh, back again. Second battle of the day. I can't remember what was the second battle of the day, but we're going to get into Crash versus Tech. Crash versus Tech, um, definitely one of the best battles of the day. Um, a lot of bars. Crash started his round very, very strong. Yo, Matic, Matic, Matic. This battle is one of them ones where you watch it, you might change your mind, but you know. But um, boom, first first round, I think Crash pretty much set the tone, and he, he clearly got the first round. Uh, it's one of them rounds where you either fight back or you fuck still. So I think Tech fought back on the second round. I think he took the second, and I edited to Tech still, so I got Tech to one. As you can see, I gave Crash the first round, um, and I gave Tech the second and third. Personally, I felt like Crash starts... I think Crash lost down to round structure, to be honest. Um, at the end of the day, um, I felt like Crash has a very dope delivery, 
performed it very, very well. I honestly just felt like he started these rounds very, at a very high level and then he declined throughout the round, whereas Tech was the opposite. Tech started the rounds um, um, at low energy and then he, he just basically was turning up as the battle was going on. Um, as he through every round, he did that for every round. He started the round um, on a low level, and then he he started turning up. So I I, I gave um, the second and third to Tech. Um, my again, my advice to Crash is basically um, work on your round structure and um, keep the hard hitters hard hitting punches. Like just structure your round better. Structure your round better. Crash had the best bar of the battle for me. Um, I'm immortal tech. Neeks like you shouldn't dance with the devil. That was that was fire. Um, yeah, but I don't think it was um, enough to win that second round. So I edged it to to tech. Tech again was very more direct. I think probably more direct than tech than Crash was. Um, and again, that that's all these. That you're always gonna get points for being direct at your opponent for me anyway. So. Um, the only thing for tech for me was, um, and I get it, you, you both, you like, you're still early in the game, you're still pretty much finding your style kind of thing, but I saw a lot of, um, New Jersey twerk cadences on there, I saw a lot of, even the voice pitch, the voice pitch is like, the way he delivered his material was very, um, just reminded me a lot of twerk, um, even the, like, all of that, which, alright, cool, but, just, just, Add it to your game, but don't just add it to your style and find a way to come up with your own style. That's my only advice to Tech. I think he was dope. Um, he had very dope bars, a lot of crash flips. Um, I'm trying to get to crash before the crash. This is your final destination. That was fire. Um, yeah, man, dope, dope, dope battle, man. Very dope battle. One of the best. Like, is is Battle of the Night was either this one um, or Captain AJ. But... Right now, I'm actually feel, feeling like I actually feel like this was battle of the night, and I'll probably give Caps um, battler of the of the night. Um, but anyway, let's get into Caps versus um, uh, versus AJ. Um, very very dope battle. Very dope battle. I I haven't got a chance to watch this battle battle um, battle yet because it's not out. Um, but this this is one of them battles where. Um, I had Caps winning. Um, can't really remember the rounds and all of that because this is two weeks ago. But I had Caps winning. Um, I felt like Caps was uh, did more than AJ. I felt like AJ came to exercise his pen. Um, and was really really good though. It was really really good. He he had a nice scheme. Um, I felt like AJ could have been more direct as well. Um. Caps was did a bit more. He performed better to me. He he just he just did more. Like it, I felt like he entertained us more. And he, he went. He, I felt like he he came. He went more at AJ. He was more direct at AJ. He came to to bow AJ. That was dope, man. Um, AJ AJ was fired as well. Like this is the best AJ I've seen. Um, one of the best caps. I don't know. I need to. I need to watch the battle back because Caps versus Giz was fire. Caps versus C Caps has been consistent lately. Like you gotta give it to Caps, man. Gotta give it to Caps. Caps been consistent lately, and we we've been wanting to see a consistent Caps for a few years now. So he finally got his head together and decided to to come correct when it comes to these battles. I don't think he cared too much before, and I felt like now he, he, he's on coming correct. So he was fired against Devian, fired against Giz. Um, and it was fired again um, against AJ. Um, so Caps won. Caps got, got through to the next round. Um, would like to see AJ back um, ASAP as well, man. AJ was fire. Very fire. Um, now let's get into Nux versus Chrome. Nux versus Chrome. Um, first time I'm seeing both of these guys as well. Um, Chrome, Chrome won. Won the battle. He got through. Um, he had a little suspect bars in there that... I don't even want to repeat them. Um, but you lot's here when it comes out. Make sure you lot um, like and subscribe to No Loose Chat and keep it keep it locked. Um, but yeah, man. But Chrome, what I liked about Chrome is he had charisma. He, he, had a, he, he put his personality in there. Um, and he performed these bars and he just seemed a lot more comfortable in there. 
where um, Knox, I felt like he had very dope material. His his delivery was a little, I, f I don't know. I felt like he, he should have been a bit louder and, you know, um, I f can't, if I remember correctly, he was he, he had he had a good first round. His second round, he he choked, and then the third round, he didn't spear at all. And I, I didn't I didn't respect that at all, man. I felt like that was a big pause as well between the second round and the third round, where you could have even like tried to remember the end of your first the the ending of your first round, which you didn't get to spit because you got called time one and added to whatever material you because you choked on the second whatever materials you and gave us a third like you didn't spit a third round at all like it was literally round threes on you time like i didn't really respect that but um if i remember correctly he had very dope material on his first round as well man so um I was looking forward to see it, man. I wanted to see. I wanted to see what what he could bring, man. So, um, self-explanatory. Um, Chrome went got through to the to the next round. Chrome, Chrome, Chrome. I think he he, he wrote a lot for shock value, shock value bars, um, and I think you need to understand the crowd that you're in front of. Um, them things. Obviously, you got to win, but them. If you was facing another opponent, if you was facing an AJ. It would have been good night for you if he was facing a Nobi. It would have been good night for you, um, but um, yeah, man. Good luck to the next round. Just I felt like a lot of you battlers got to see as well what the standard is. You lot got to watch Crash versus Tech. You lot got to watch Caps versus AJ. And to me, that's the standard. Like that's 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 the standard that we want to see. So. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you all of you come come even better the, on the on the next round. Next battle we're gonna get into is um, YD versus Chubzino. YD versus Chubzino um, was a very good battle as well, man. Very good battle. Um, was they, it was both their first battles, um, and I was actually just watching it, thinking, "You lot's growth is crazy because you lot don't even know the level that you're starting on. Like you lot don't realize this, but the level that you're starting on." It's actually six still. So, um, yeah, like, um, I think Chubzino just had very, very dope material from what I could hear. His delivery wasn't, um, um, it could have been better. We, we we kept hearing, we kept, we tried to tell, we kept, people tried to tell him, like, yo, louder, louder. But I think he was just so focused onto his material, which is understandably his first battle. He doesn't want to choke, which he didn't. Um... And he 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 was just wanted to get the material out kind of thing, but you had he was very dope. Um, YD was a bit more direct as well. I felt I felt like he he had he, he looked a bit more comfortable in there. Um, but it was dope, man. It was dope. I felt like both these guys they're gonna watch their battle backs when he comes out, and they're gonna be able to see what to improve, and they're just gonna keep on getting better and better. Um, YD won. And got through to the next round. I want to see Chubzino back ASAP. Um, get get more battles under your belt, and both of you are gonna be beasts, man. Like both of you are actually gonna gonna grow to, gonna grow to be sick still. So, um, and then the last battle of the day was Novel versus Fat Tones. Um, again, Fat Tones had all the charisma. Um, he felt he, he felt very comfortable on stage. He had a couple iffy bars as well um but again like to me you gotta understand the crowd you're in front of and you i don't feel like he came with the material that people wanted to hear to be quite honest like it wasn't for me I, i'll be real it just wasn't for me in it um i felt like even being in the building himself and he saw what other people bring because they were basically the last battle of the day so um, he, they, he got, he, they both got to see what what the other battlers bring to the table, and they be, he, he can see that yo, like you, that that wasn't it. You you come back again with um, different type of material, and you'll be alright because you already got the charisma. You seem um, comfortable on uh, uh, um, on the pit, and yeah, man, um, just come back correct next time. 
Um, Novel got through to the next round. Novel just was kind of basically spitting like he was spitting on B kind of thing. Um, again, both of you with different opponents, you you would have been in trouble still. Like, no pun intended, you both would have been in trouble. But um, Novel just needs to, as well, again, like, you, you've got to see where the standard is. So, like, just be more comfortable and just 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 study the thing study the thing and um come back again in it like it's is a battle you there's no beat no nothing you get to feel more comfortable and you know even your, your the comfortability and charisma that your your opponent had is basically what you need to bring to the table in it like if you do that and then be direct to your opponent like you felt like you had them bars they could have gone for anyone and if right bars directly to your opponent and yeah man you you you'll be all right as well man so um stainless versus cobra the battle didn't go down stainless didn't show up so cobra got through to the next round same with um scribs versus scam i believe i don't know if it's scam or scam i can't i don't i don't know how you pronounce that but um scribs didn't show up so he, the scam got through to the next round um again both of you got to see what the standard is you didn't get to battle um which uh and you got through to the next round but you got to see what the standard is it could have been that your your your, your material might have not been good enough or you could have go home and it depends on how humble you are and how how willing to take things on board you are like you could probably you got to see people make mistakes and see what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. Um, so I I haven't heard it from you guys. I don't know if you guys have battles under your belt or not. But if you don't, um, you you basically got to see what the standard is and what what the judges kind of expect from you. So I'm looking forward to see you lot next round. And yeah, man, go in, like, share, subscribe, and tune into No Loose Chat, man. Shout out to No Loose Chat every single time. Um, check out their face masks. Um, they're very dope. I need to get one for myself as well. Um, and yeah, man, salute to P, Tally, Snoop, every single time, man. Every single time. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Wiretap. We back again. You're done, though.